The recovery operation is continuing for a 19 year old who disappeared in the ocean at Jacksonville Beach last night and our crews went out to the beach today to find out more about this weekend's ocean rescue. Cheyenne Cole joins us live now from Jacksonville Beach and this is really incredible what she witnessed today. You were interviewing a lifeguard as I understand it and then the lifeguards acted quickly to save a man from drowning. That's absolutely right, Jeannie. I had even put a microphone on him, which is why we were able to hear him counting those numbers so well while they were providing CPR to that patient. Um, basically, what happened was we were standing there and the trucks pulled up, emergency trucks all over the place, sirens blaring with a man on the back of a truck. He had lost his pulse, but they were able to revive him after a few moments. He's in critical condition tonight. They were able to save him, but still the search for Curtis Newkirk Jr. is weighing heavy on the hearts and minds of the lifeguards out here. A dramatic rescue at Jacksonville Beach Monday morning for the lifeguards kicking off a busy Memorial Day. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. A man nearly drowning, losing his pulse for a few moments before Ocean Rescue resuscitated him. Hey, I've got a pulse back, guys. I've got a pulse. I've got a pulse back. First responders took the victim to the hospital in critical condition. That's amazing. That's the best outcome that we could hope for. That's Tommy Casero, captain of the Volunteer Life Saving Corps and a medic. The emergency put our interview on hold. Casero jumping into action to perform CPR. You're racing against death. So anytime that you can be there and be that helping hand to someone, especially doing it for free and volunteering, it just it, it satisfies you on another level. In the water, a recovery operation underway for Curtis Newkirk Jr., who went missing after 730 Sunday night. The St. Johns County Sheriff's Office and Coast Guard assisting in the search using aircraft and boats, according to the Jacksonville Beach Police Department. Casero says if water is pulling a swimmer away after the lifeguards working hours, you should call for help. In the sad instance of last night, it was unfortunately after hours. So the first thing that we do is say, hey, go ahead and call 911. Make sure that you have someone out there to call 911. During the day, Casero says lifeguards on duty can help swimmers who might be in danger. Hopefully you're in front of a lifeguard tower. If you're not, yes, please get a lifeguard's attention. If you're not near a lifeguard, you can call 911. They're going to respond. You're, they're going to dispatch us out immediately for that. Tonight at 530, you'll find out how the Volunteer Life Saving Corps is helping the lifeguards out here on this holiday. Reporting live from Jacksonville Beach, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side.